I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It is an emerging style taking hold in the Mahjong community. There are even tournaments in some areas and a lot of times directors will pre-select categories and the first player to win a hand in that category will win a prize. So we're going to do some practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations, forcing hands in these categories. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, 27, then 28. We need to force hands in these categories. Which of these categories would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play the consecutive pair hand in cracks even though we have a gap. And then four, five, six in two suits. This is what I would do for these tiles. Singles and pairs, one through six, we need a five in there pretty quick. If that doesn't work, we could switch to one, two, three, or two, three, four consecutive run of some kind, probably with the flower. Well, one suit, so I'd probably do one suit Kongs if the fives don't come in. Because even with one through five in one suit, the first hand, we need a pair there. So whether we play this, the pair hand or the first hand, we're going to need a pair of fives. And then down here, I would just gather four, five, six, seven. There's no hand here to focus on yet. We just have to build. And then I would use these as joker bait, probably discard in east at the, maybe the first half of the middle wall. But if, the, if your opponent is discarding wins, these would all be safe, and I would just let them go. But if they're holding wins, you might be able to get joker, jokers out of that, or a joker. And then this would be good joker bait too, maybe. So I would hold these for joker bait. And if you wanna know more about that strategy, look for links in the video description below for demonstration videos. So I would start by discarding those, six discards, with joker bait. Not too bad of a plan, because there could be some, some power here. So we have singles and pairs, and consecutive run. Singles and pairs and consecutive run.
we have three jokers, a flower north and a pung of souths. We have a green dragon, two, seven, nine, and cracks, singles. In dots, we have one, six, seven, eight, nine, pairs of sevens and eights. In bams, we have two, three, four, nine, pair three, pair four, pung nine. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play two, four, six, eight, and one, three, five, seven, nine, with a three, six, nine backup. This is how I would do it, two, four, six, eight, evens. This would be joker bait. It's pretty hefty, but if you discard one at the beginning of the third wall, kind of test the waters and see how your opponent responds. Otherwise, those could be just safe discards if they're not interested. And an indicator of whether they're going to be in wins is the first few rounds of discards. So you'll know right away if those will be good joker bait or not. For here, I would focus on big odds, but we have no fives. That's why I would have a plan B of three, six, nine. If we can get other sixes in here. Up here, we're gonna need a six dot. Or we could just use all the sixes we can get and use these to help here. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong, somehow. And then just, gather either big odds, hopefully fives. And if that were to come in, big odds, we could use this as joker bait. Whether fives or sixes, we've got a plan. So we have five discards with big joker bait. For, I would call this evens and odds. evens and odds. If you would do anything differently with these tiles, let me know in the comment section below. Right, force two. We have jokers, pair of flowers, east and west with a pair of east, green dragon, three, five, seven, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of fives. In dots, we have one, two, five, six, seven, pair of ones. In bams, we have two, four, six, eight. Well, there's a seven, nine in there. This would have been a great two, four, six, eight hand, maybe with the dragon, but we have to force th three, six, nine in the year. So let's gather. Okay, this is looking a little bleak, but we do have year potential and three, six, nine. Oh, that looks really bleak, but we can build on it. Just gather, gather, gather till you have some kind of a, a strength, whether it be a multiple or predominant pattern. And then here we have, let's just put all these right here. So we might need some help with joker bait there to build this up, or even up here. We do have some year potential in here. 
I'd keep the wins for the concealed hand, but maybe look at the first hand, try anyway. We've got ones and twos. If we can get two crack white dragon, we might be all right. So I would start by discarding these for 369 in the year. Forcing hands can look a little bleak at times, but don't despair. Build around the strength of the hands. That'll either be the predominant pattern or multiples. Most times you start with a predominant pattern, of course, if you don't have multiples, but once your multiples form, build around them. Keep as many tiles as you can, supporting the strength of the hand. If you can identify around eight discards, this eight discards or less, that would be a strong plan for those tiles. If you have, when forcing hands, more than, let's say, 10, you might want to rethink your plan. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.